Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore! Let's see if we can find those vipers around here, and find a way into that volcano. See what they're up to. And you want to be careful with these carna... whatever these things are called. What are they, they called, anyway? Carnus... Carnaflower. Okay, yeah. So, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fake them out, like that, and then hit them. Hmm, there's a boulder in the way there, but I can't find a way to get through it. Remember that for later, viewers. If only there were an item that would let me move that boulder, but sadly, I do not have it. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I probably need to re-up on the fen there. And let's go through the Mammoth Graveyard. Yeah, there's a lot of ingredients here, so we'll do the best we can. I don't even know if I've gotten them all. Uh-oh, we were poisoned. Whatever shall we do? Well, use the cure spell, boom, gets rid of it. It cures all status ailments. Unlike, say, Asuna in Final Fantasy II, the cure alchemy in this game does not cure more status ailments if you level it up. In fact, I don't think leveling it up does anything, really. So, I don't know why they give it to you, but, well, there you go. By the way, something I'm trying on uh, this episode, actually I did it last time, but I forgot to mention it, uh, was uh, removing the high quality filter on my recording here. Some people say that it looks better that way, which seems kind of counterintuitive to me, but, well, okay, I figured I'd just try it out and see what you guys think about it. Actually, removing the filter, I didn't really notice much of a difference in this game. I noticed it more in uh, Super Mario RPG, but in this game, I don't seem to notice much of a difference. But, well, I don't know. You guys are the ones watching it. You let me know. Yeah, you see anything like a skull or a skeleton or bones or any part of the anatomy lying around here? Probably going to be an ingredient there. Yeah, these guys are kind of like the skeleton snails, now that I think about it, except I kind of want to hit them when they're in midair, actually, because they're easier to hit. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm up here. Lots of ingredients for us to find. Where are they? Did someone get poisoned? Oh, I saw a message there, like, I thought someone had gotten poisoned. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay. Let's, uh, make you a bit more aggressive there, boy. And, uh, how's my weapon skill doing? Whoa. What happened to the light? There we go. Seemed to get a little dark there. How are we doing on the claw? Mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna switch to the the uh, bone crusher here. I like to crush bones in the bone yard. Well, I think it's time to put all you dinosaurs on ice. For boss time against the Vipers. Okay, first things first. Are we? A... Okay, we got the fence still going. Good, good. Okay, so let's use Flash on one of these guys. Basically, what I want to do is try and isolate one of the Vipers, so that way I can, uh, well, make it easier for me to stay alive while I'm trying to kill one of them. And I really hope I don't lose track of that one. Let's see, I think it was that one. Targeting. I hope it was. The reason why I want the bone weapon right now is because, well, I can charge it up, and, well, during boss fights, I can deal a lot more damage with that. Unfortunately, I'm having a lot of trouble hitting them for some reason. And I better be really careful here. Okay, good, good. Let's uh, get a little heal going there and pick up where we left off. If the dog dies, I'll just use a biscuit on him. I'm not going to heal him right now. Wait for it. Ha! Gotcha. And I'm just going to use Flash for now. Because, well, I need to level it up a bit more. And also, it deals more damage. And, uh, by the way, you can't escape. They put some bones in the way. What the hell just happened there? Uh-oh. Sleeping on the job there. Bad dog. Bad dinosaur. Oh, well. He'll get back on his feet sooner or later. I want to get the fend on the dog. I don't know. Well, 
Stay my side. There we go. Ha! Alright. Wow, I'm doing a lot better than I was when I was practicing earlier today. <laughs> I seem to do that a lot when I'm recording. I don't know. Maybe it's just because when I'm recording, I feel the need to focus extra hard. And for some reason, my weapon wasn't charging up. I don't know why. I was trying to, but... Whatever. I'm just gonna go with uh, another flash. I don't know why I keep missing these guys. I'm clearly not. Oh, not even charging up either. Uh oh, what's that commander doing up there? Is he just like dancing or something? I don't know. But anyway, hey, hey, all right. Okay, last one. The fight. The commander himself. Charge up. Whoop. Why am I missing these guys? If only there were an item that would make it impossible for me to miss these guys. Or a spell. Or the items to cast it. Anything? Alright, there we go. I think charged attacks tend to have a better hit percentage. Kind of like Secret Romana. But I'm not certain of that. That just seems like something that would make a little more sense. But yeah, charge attacks are way better in this game than they were in Secret Romana. So it's totally worth it to level up your weapons. I'm not going to do it beyond, you know, whatever I just happen to along the way. Well, I might do a little grinding here and there, but uh, for the most part, I'm going to try and avoid it when it's possible. I could have leveled up the axe to level 2 before this fight. That would have made things easier because it's stronger in general. But hey, hey alright, we get the strongest prehistoria weapon, the spear. In fact, for most areas, the spear is going to be the most powerful weapon. And if you gain a level for it, you can throw it across the screen. It's really nice. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of ingredients up top here, but... Well, I figured I'd kill the bosses first. Well, isn't it? Wow, I thought they were all kind of vipers. I always thought, like, the raptors and, well, the guys who are actually called vipers, I thought viper was, like, the name for all of those dinosaurs. Like, reptites or something. I mean, there's other reptites besides the named reptites. You know, there's a whole bunch of them. I don't know. It's dangerous to go alone. How many times is Defend gonna wear off? How's it going? Ah, say no more. Say no more. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, we gotta go in the top? That sounds like a really bad idea. What, what about all the lava? But, okay, well, whatever works for you. Uh, yes, please. Oh, how do we do that? Well, fortunately, we're finding a whole lot of uh, roots and water and all that stuff. So, I don't feel the need to really uh, buy a whole lot of those. Most of the stuff I want to buy is like, uh, like defend, hardball, all that good stuff. But yeah, cure and heal, I can just level them as I go. I don't really feel the need to go out of my way to buy ingredients for those two. And heal, well, we're going to be using that a lot. In fact, I don't really use any of the other healing alchemy spells at all. I mean, there are ones that are flat out better, like th there's some that can like heal one person to full, or heal both characters to full, or whatever. But I just prefer using the basic heal spell. Isn't there an ingredient here? There should be. Hmm, maybe I got it already. Hmm. Okay, I'll just pretend I got it already. I could have sworn there was something there. But, okay. Maybe I got it before the boss fight. Or I'm just off by, like, a pixel or something. It's not really important if, to get every single one that I'm looking for around here. I'm just doing it just because I, I went through the effort of making the maps. I damn well better use them. 
So yeah, I know there's another one here. There it is. Okay. And let's see. I think that's all of them. Okay. Well, let's head on through the next part. The Volcano Path. Well, thank you for distracting them, at least. Okay, well, I know Defend wore off several times, so let's rebuff. Okay, so with these uh, raptors, what I like to do is just hit them with hardball, or any alchemy, really, and, oh, get swallowed by a carnaflower. Now, uh, yeah, basically I like to stun them with one of my alchemy spells, and then uh, follow up with a physical attack there. Okay, so, let's see. I know there's a bunch of ingredients around here. I missed one. Let's see, where is it? Practically near the start, I think. I thought I was already down there, but... Okay, let's see. No, it's up here. Ha-ha! Okay. And more there. Where'd the raptor go? Yeah, you just run away. Ah, there we go. I knew there was another one here. What do we got here? Well, some more ingredients. Nothing we can, like, search for in the corners or anything like that. In fact, most caves in the game uh, don't have ingredients in them for some reason. I don't know why. But if you wanted to, you could uh, rest up here. Be more convenient than going all the way back to Fire Eyes Village, but... Ow. Where'd my defend go? Did it wear off already? I didn't even notice that. Uh, maybe, on second thought, maybe I should rest up now. <laughs> well, they just kind of ambushed me there. Not that I really have much else to spend money on. Although, we are going to be able to buy a tier 3 armor coming up here. So, well, actually, that's after the next boss fight. But just don't spend all your money on... Uh, on ingredients. But, uh, no, I don't think it's necessary to do that yet. So, okay, let's try this one again. Maybe, uh, uh, what is it? Try not, uh, cutting down all the grass before the raptor goes away. Okay, there we go. I don't feel the need to kill all of them again. But I do want to hit them with hardball. So, yeah, Stun him with a spell, and then follow up with the physical attack. Hey, hey, all right. Okay, you want to line up? That's just fine by me. Are you going to come back here? Or? No? No? Okay. Well, let's pick up some more ingredients by the bones. Absolutely. See, I think there's... Yep, there it is. Watch out. Oh, man, I can't even kill them by myself. Oh, well. Well, sometimes I can. Just not the first time. Okay. I'm going to start using Defend on uh, both the boy and the dog. As you've noticed, I've been doing in this episode. I thought the dog could uh, get away without it, but uh, now nah, he's taking quite a few hits. So, Oh, well. Oh! Yeah, I should... Uh... You know, actually, I'm just going to leave him on uh, attack mode. I mean, yeah, I do want to level up my uh, spear skill. But we're not one-shotting enemies anymore anyway, so we might as well just uh, leave it alone. Ha-ha! Good boy. Besides, it would be nice to get my dog up to uh, level two. Did I? I must have gotten the ingredients or something. Let's try that one again, pal. There we go. Good boy. You get a biscuit. Uh, let's see. I do want to go into this cave, but before we do that, let's, uh, heal up the dog a bit. Yeah, pretty much, once you get heal, you almost never need to use items to heal ever again. Oh. Okay, we'll heal you again. Well, at least it levels up, and, well, as you would imagine, if you level it up more, you heal more HP. I know some of my viewers are very happy that they named Heal and Cure correctly in this one. Whoa! We're trapped! Oh, I already had uh, uh, Defend going. Oh, well. I'm going to hit all of them so I can kind of stun them all at once. 
Or I could try and isolate one of them. Okay, get them kind of cornered here. Ha-ha! There we go. Awesome. Hey, hey, all right. I'm surprised I hit them so accurately. But for defeating them, we get the tier three body armor, dino skin. So let's uh, equip that. Yeah, much better. Let's see, I don't think there's any ingredients in the cave, so we'll just keep on going. Whoa, ow. Came out of nowhere, man. Clever girl. Oh, come on! I got my attack off before he jumped at me. <sighs> Whoa! Okay, okay, um... Yeah, uh... Heal. There we go. Get him, boy! Yeah, I might need to heal up a little more than that. I'd like to stay above 50% of my max HP. If I can. Awesome. Okay, let's uh, rebuff. Yeah, I hope you like seeing the defend spell animation viewers because I'm going to be using it a lot. Okay, let's see. I think there's one right here. And there's one over here somewhere. Somewhere in the vicinity. There we go. Let's see, there's another one. I think by those bones up top. If I can actually get an attack on the spider. Ha! Gotcha. Okay, got one there. And let's see. Okay, so now we gotta find a way to get to the top of the volcano, like they were telling us. So, ow. Um, no, wrong one. Wrong one. Yeah, poison is something you don't wanna leave alone. Or we could just get poisoned again. Why not? Go. Uh, let's see. Oh, Widowmaker? Huh. I didn't know that was what their name was. I thought it was just like a spider or something. But I suppose that it would be kind of a spider, I guess. Okay, let's see. On this level, no ingredients. Let's move on up then. So basically, you see those, I don't know, stone platform things. And you get on them and they boost you up. What is this? Star Tropics? Well, it would be an American game. Okay, let's see on this one. Let's get that. Well, let's see. Now, the caves will usually take you uh, down a level. Or sometimes all the way back to the beginning. It's kind of a maze in a way, I suppose. Okay, we got that. Get some more clay. More stuff there. Let's see. I think that's all of them on this level. So now, let's go up to, well, as high up as we can go for now. Hmm. Yeah, let's hardball. I want to get my spells up to level 2 before the next major boss fight. Okay, we got that. And let's see, there's one more there. Now, there's a chest that you might have seen on the right there, but we can't get to it for now. So don't worry about not getting it. It's not that critical. Well, I mean, we can't right now. J just take my word for it. Remember that chest for later, though, viewers. Uh-oh. Huh. Looks like I've been all over this place. Whatever shall we do? Ha-ha! Secret passage. Yeah, they hide that one from us. Um, yeah, I need to heal up. I do not want to die right now. Maybe later, but today is not a good day to die. Okay, let's see. Where am I? See, I think there's, uh, roots there. Good. More ingredients. And, okay, that's everything here. So, uh, which one do I take down? Uh, I think it's this one? Nope. Nope, yep, screwed that one up. Let's, uh, try that one again. Fortunately, all the enemies stay dead. For some reason, I thought it was like a counterintuitive thing where they're trying to assume that you'll always take the first exit given to you and then make that the correct one or whatever. But anyway, this is where we need to go. 
I like the look on the dog's face when he's jumping around like that. <laughs> okay, how's it going? Why is it... What's happening with all the lava? Are you making lava spells or something? Well, usually you'd go in through the top. Oh, nuts. Aren't we on top of the crater? Oh, yeah, but there was a rock in the way. Yeah, what do we do with that? Oh. Hey, hey, all right. Well, I've got plenty of ingredients, so surely we'll be able to put it to use. So, huh? What's that new ingredient there? Hmm, I got the water part, but what's that other one? Oh. That's... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we gotta head on over there, then. But, uh, let's see. This guy has the best price on wax in uh, Prehistoria. So, if you want to stock up on it, this is the guy to go to. I'm going to, uh, well... Try and figure out what ingredients I want, what I don't want, and well, then we'll go from there. But can we survive a trip through the swamp of Prehistoria? Find out next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.